Hello and welcome back to more MRF Wanderer Tips to Trade Anywhere. And today I've got loads of stuff that you can carry along with you. Oh, is it? What yeah. do you have? Sunglasses, hair gel, chips, my music, cold drinks. You got to keep yourself hydrated. Really, man? What? Chips and cold drinks, that's your advice? No, that's great advice actually. That's yeah. great advice. Thanks. Now that you've seen this useless list, this is what you really need to carry. Always carry your car papers, toolkit, a torch, a Swiss knife, a first aid box. Also, do the necessary checks, fuel, oil, coolant and water before you leave. And not to forget all the tire checks that we mentioned in the previous episode. Yeah, all of this I already know. What's so useful in that? Alright, well then how about these tips? Tip number one, wet tissues. Ah, you had a problem with my hair gel, but wet tissues are okay. Boss, there's a reason for it. The tissues are to remove the dampness and the musty smell in the car once we get on the road for a few days. Just place the tissues near the AC vents overnight and find the car smelling mint fresh the next morning. Very useful stuff. I mean, it is very important if you're traveling with a sweaty man like him. Tip number two, talcum powder. Now, talcum powder can actually come in handy, especially when you're dealing with a stubborn keyhole. <laughs> Don't even go there. It's not funny. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, in really dusty environments, this could happen. The key might not just go into the keyhole. So simply, rub some talcum powder on your key and help it slide in. Now, when you're off-roading, your car tends to get really dirty. So it's very important for you to keep your windscreen and your car windows absolutely clean. Right, and I've got a very simple way to do it. Take some shaving cream and put it on the sock and wipe out the grime of the windows easily. That's quite cool, yeah. And this could also help you if you chance upon a date. Dude, yeah. what's a date? And that's all for today. And now, here is this week's question. Now, if you want a hint to this question, the answer is hidden in episode 1. So go back, watch that video and post your answers in the comment section of this post. 